from Los Angeles, welcome Earl David Reed. Here is Earl David Reed. Please welcome country comedian, trendsetter Earl David Reed. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just surprised to see all of you as you are to see one of me. Yes. <laughs> this world's getting really strange. You know, I get on the elevator, just me and this woman. We're ethnically different. She feels really intimidated. As Soon as the door shuts, we're in the same elevator. As Soon as the door shuts, she looks over at me, really stupid, starts wrapping her purse around her arm. And I'm thinking, how stupid is this? I mean, even if I were the kind of person that wanted to steal her purse, where the hell am I going? I'm in the elevator. <laughs> but I go, give me that. Could you push four, please? <laughs> I love Nashville, boy, because I love that Southern accent. If I can meet a woman with a Southern accent, I'd marry her in a second, boy. Woo. But yeah, you got to be careful, though, because if you don't pay attention, you can look like an idiot when they talk to you. I was in a restaurant. All I wanted was a potato. The waiter didn't say, how would you like the potato? He just yells at me how I could have it. So I go, I like a potato. He goes, masturbate. <laughs> now, what he was saying was mash or baked. I know that today. <laughs> About two weeks ago, I thought he was yelling something else at me that I thought was a little bit too drastic for a potato. <laughs> like, you, I want a potato. You go, master bank. Finally, I snap. I go, for a potato? <laughs> I said, skip that. Give me the rice. <laughs> Guy next to me is eating a potato. I go, I know what you did with that. <laughs> Shame on you. Give it up for Harrisburg's own funny man, Mr. Earl David Reeves. They have pain in the ass. You know your kids are pain in the ass. Of course, everyone else's kids are pain in the ass. Yours are just angels. It's hard to have kids nowadays because you can't discipline them. You can't punish your kids now. You'll go to jail. When I was growing up, we got beat. Remember those days? We got beat. I can look around the room. I can tell you who got beat. That guy got beat. You got beat. That guy got beat. You got beat. My parents never hit me in the head, though. You got beat. <laughs> now you're supposed to give your kid a timeout. What kind of shit is that? Timeout was something my mother used to take when she needed a rest from beating the shit out of us. It's like, ooh, I gotta catch my breath. I need a timeout. You kids run around and slap each other for a while. It's good to be out here laughing because we got a lot of problems in this world. We got a lot of problems in this country. It's good to laugh. People aren't happy with the job Obama's doing. They're saying he's screwing up the country. People aren't happy in Harrisburg with the job Linda Thompson's doing. They're saying she's screwing up Harrisburg. People don't like the job that Reverend Jesse Jackson is doing in Chicago because he's stealing money from the constituents. So I'm here to tell you white people, stop voting for black people. <laughs> we can't do the job. White people, you have screwed up this country so much, we can't even help you. We've already saved the NFL and the NBA. Leave us alone. How you doing there, sir? You're a white guy with a shaved head. You look like my negative. <laughs> That's what I look like if I was a white guy. Except my penis would be bigger. I said it. Don't even screw with me, brother. 
This is so great. I am so happy to be here. This is good. The guy with the Nickelback t-shirt on there. How are you? Awesome. Thanks for being awesome. Well, that's good. <laughs> Anyone else doing awesome? <laughs> now, that's bullshit, isn't it? You know what awesome is? Right in the middle of sex, you find out we hit the lottery. That's awesome. <laughs> That's just fine, you know what I mean? You know why he doesn't talk? Because it's not his fault. This is not your fault. Because it's all society now. He don't even have to talk anymore. These damn kids with this texting, it's out of control. All they do is sit there and go like this anymore. They don't know how to have a conversation anymore. And I can't, I bet, and I get mad because people text me, and I can't text fast enough. You know what I'm talking about? People go, hey, you going to the party? I'm going to the party. Hey, you coming to the party? I'm going to the Oh, what are you mad about? Okay, excuse me, can you slow down, please? <laughs> now I'm gonna hang up and try it again. <laughs> I was in Walmart the other day, and I'll tell you why I like Walmart. I just figured this out, too. This is why I like Walmart. No dress code. <laughs> no matter what you have on when you walk into Walmart, there's always someone in there that looks worse than you do. <laughs> I'm serious. I swear. You can walk in there and wear sweatpants and an oven mitt on your head. <laughs> there's a guy in the next aisle eating Twizzlers with a badger hanging out of his ass. <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming out and supporting Breast Kitchen tonight. And you know what? It's cool. There's a reason why I support Breast Kitchen awareness. First of all, I love breasts and I'm aware of it, as we know. <laughs> Second of all, it just helps a lot of people out. And men give you Breast Kitchen too. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that? See, the women are going, yep, yep, yep. Some of the men don't know, but now you know. Women know because women are more in tune with their bodies than guys are. Doesn't matter what kind of problem a woman has, she will tell her best friend about it. It'd be the worst thing ever. She don't even care. She'll tell her best friend. I don't feel fresh because this is like this, now I have this, like this. Well, we need to use this, now you use this, now you get more fat, right? You can fly, you can all that, right? A man has a problem with his waist. The last thing he's gonna do is tell his best friend about it. Cause that's gonna be his new nickname. That's gonna be the name they put on the back of his softball uniform. Hey, Itchy Balls, play third base. Itchy Balls, you play third, Pride Dates, you play short. Simple as you find a play, you can catch anything. 